Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. We're in 2021. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share videos with your friends and family. And if you've been following me for a while, welcome back. Happy New Year. I'm glad to see you guys. It has been a long time. Uh, as you guys know from my last video, which was a long time ago, that I have had a lot going on in my life. And things are starting to finally, you know, calm down a little bit. I guess it'll never really calm completely down. But at least I'm at the point now where I can actually manage to do something. So, uh, I wanted to come on and give the first video of the new year. And uh, I haven't gone anywhere. I plan on being more consistent and sharing a lot of things with you guys. So, stay tuned and let's get started. So with 2021, a lot of things are still going on. Uh, we still have political drama, but we do have a new president. We still have COVID and uh, that still hasn't been controlled. And so I'm praying that in 2021, we can kick uh, the COVID habit, get, it, get rid of it so that people can stop dying so we can go back out and live our lives. Did you guys carry anything over from 2020, 2021? I hope if you did, it's positive or as positive as to be expected. So you guys know that I was living in North Carolina. And yes, I say was because I am finally, finally living in North Texas. So we did close in our home in October. We moved. We've had a lot of heartaches, a lot of ups and downs. And for more information on that, to learn more about that, go on over to our other channel here and there are the channel uh, Brian Family Values and look at uh, some of the videos that we've done since October um, and it will tell you about uh, finding a home, uh, our heartbreak with that, finally moving into a new home um, and other things that have been going on, uh, everything that was involved in that entire, entire mind-boggling, painful, life-learning experience. Uh, so you have to go over there to find out what I'm talking about because I don't want to bring that over to this channel. I don't want to bring it into 2021 because 2021 is going to be a great year because I'm going to make it a great year in spite of. So let's go ahead and start with my health update. Now there's not much to give you uh, on that for right now because again we've been moving. We haven't gotten completely situated. I still have yet to find a doctor, a dentist, and um, an eye doctor. So those are the three things that I'm going to start working on as soon as possible because I do need to get back in the doctor's office and get my diabetes checked. I need to get my eyes checked because my eyes don't know what they want to do. And then also, I have to go back to the dentist and the orthodontist because, y'all, this has been a stressful time for us especially me. So I've been doing things like chewing on ice. And if you guys remember from a previous video where I talked about having pica, where I was eating the baking soda, I've not completely stopped the baking soda, but I find when I don't buy it and it's not in the house, then I go to ice. So we haven't had any in the house, but there's ice in the house. So I've been chewing on ice. Now, to go back a little bit, uh, the permanent retainer I have on my teeth, the top one in the back, it actually snapped. So the gap is coming back open, if you guys can see here. It's coming back open. And the ice does not help. So when I had my braces and I got them taken off, my teeth were straight on the top and bottom. But as you can see, they're not straight and that gap has come back open. I do wear my retainers from time to time, but because they've stretched, my teeth have stretched out, the retainers can be painful sometimes. Sometimes I'll bear it, but for the most part, I have to be honest, I am not wearing my retainers. So I need to get back into the orthodontist, uh, get something on here to get this back 
this gap closed back and get my retainers fixed so I can go back to my pearly whites. Now, as far as my diabetes, I do need to get back into the um, doctor's office. The last video I showed you guys, I believe I was in remission. I'm almost certain I'm not in remission anymore um, because I've had a few high readings on my sugar, which have been in like the 300s, which that's just way too high. And it could also be contributed to the fact that I am no longer on keto, or let me just put it this way. I have not been on keto. I have, I am planning to get back on keto. I did get back on keto a month ago and I did good for a while. And then for some reason I, oh, I know what happened. Girl Scout cookies, came, a season came along. Oh, I know what happened. Girl Scout season came along. And you guys know I cannot resist a thin mint, but they're almost gone. <laughs> so as soon as they're gone. And like today, today is a Valentine's day. And I'm cooking a nice uh, clam fettuccine meal. So that's pasta. So maybe Monday. And I'll say that I don't know if that's going to happen because the weather here is horrible. And I'll get to that in a minute. Going back to my health, health update, the uh, diabetes numbers are too high. So I'm almost positive that I am no longer in remission. Now, I'm not too far gone that I can't just slip back in there if I just go back on keto correctly. But still, I do want to go to the doctors, get my numbers checked, get my cholesterol checked, and do all that. Um, I don't know if I've gained. Well, I take that back. Let's just be honest here, folks. I know I've gained weight. What I meant to say was I have not been on a scale. I have scales. I just have not been on one. And how I know I've gained a little weight is my clothes are getting a little tight. I can still fit them, but they are tight. So that's how I know that I've gained weight. Um, and then also, I know when I was doing the, uh, taking the baking powder, uh, the baking soda actually, not baking powder, the baking soda, it bloated me a lot. So maybe now that I'm getting this out of my system, I should probably go try on some clothes that were smaller than the ones I have on now and see, but I'm almost positive that I've gained weight and I'm okay with that right now. Because as soon as I start back on keto, and get into the doctor, I can come up with a plan to get back to where I was and finally reach my, my goal weight, my goal sugar numbers, get back into remission for diabetes and things like that. So that is my health update. As far as how I'm feeling, on most days I feel fine. I do feel very fatigued and that is a result of high blood sugar. Oh, and I have to mention too, I am not doing uh the i'm not passing the fibroids as much as i was i'm still passing them um so my periods are a little more regular but they're not regular um they may last 10 days and i may have four of those days where i'm just constantly bleeding you know and i know tmi but this is look y'all know i'm gonna keep it real um and this might help someone else out there who's just sitting there in the in the shadows not knowing what to do but um, the clots are not as big. I'm not passing big clots. It's, I'm still passing them. So instead of them being this big, they're probably about that big. Um, and whereas I would go a whole 30 days just passing them, it's just like maybe I, I'll have a period every two to three weeks. And uh, not your typical two, two to three weeks or your three weeks. I think the period's every three weeks. But it comes more often. But it'll last about 10 so days. And... Um, it's heavy the first four days maybe and I may do a little spotting um, in between uh, but it's not as bad as it used to be because you guys remember I was uh, hunkered down in the house because I couldn't leave I couldn't go anywhere I couldn't do anything because I was either always in the shower always you know where I just couldn't leave the house or do anything that was enjoyable so I uh, think that also losing a lot of iron I'm still losing iron um, I'm still anemic and I'm trying to take iron, so I'm trying to study the progress because there are times when I'm taking too much iron and there are times when I'm not taking enough. And I just found out, you guys know I have IBS as well, and I think I was eat, taking too much iron that uh, I almost had to go to the hospital to pass bowel movement. So let me just put that out there. Uh, but... Uh, I'm fine now. The, the basic things that I'm the basic thing that I'm seeing that I'm having a trouble with is the fatigue. So that is 
going to be an issue I guess until I can I can figure out a way to curtail the diabetes to um, curtail the anemia and and the other things so um, I do plan on still having the hysterectomy it's just a matter of now I have to find a doctor here get comfortable with that doctor first of all um, and then we have COVID I just am not comfortable in the era of COVID to do major surgery surgery knowing that I am probably no longer in remission for diabetes. So that could be very dangerous. So um, I'm hoping I can get it by the summer um, or then maybe the fall. I don't know because the summer's coming here in Texas. It's hot. You want to get out because we are right now, we are hunkered down in the house. And then fall comes and my baby, my granddaughter, she is going into the sixth grade. And I am putting her back into a public school contingent upon some things. And those things are no school shootings, no lockdowns, no bullying, and no falling behind. So um, she's going into middle school. She's very excited about that. So that's where I am with my health update. Now, I mentioned that um, I'm going to be starting up my keto. I don't know when. I wanted to say Monday. Well, that probably won't happen because I, I mean, I guess I can go around the house and find some things to put together for keto, but they won't be enjoyable, put it that way. And the reason why I say that is we are under a winter storm warning. We have actually been um, in dangerous territory for a few days now. The first uh, one was a um, ice storm. We had ice, uh, very cold temperatures. I don't know if you guys saw on the news where in Fort Worth, which is maybe an hour from me, um, they had a 100 plus car pile up and a few people did die. And I watched one of the videos on Facebook of one of the uh, viewers who was actually in that traffic on the other side of the median uh, going the opposite way on the highway. And they actually recorded it. And I just cried because you, you could see one 18 wheeler would hit the median, another 18 wheeler would come down and hit that 18 wheeler. And you could just hear the crash and see the smoke. And then there's this one truck, he slid down uh, the highway and hit the 18 wheeler. And what he did was he got out of his truck. It was just a pickup truck. He got out of his truck and he went to go see if the other guy was okay. But as he was standing up on the bed of the cab to see if the other guy was okay, an 18 wheeler came down and just smacked him. And the back of that 18 wheeler just went up. So I know that guy was either hurt or one of the people that was probably uh, presumed dead at the scene. Um, and I do uh, hold their families in my prayers and my thoughts because just watching that, it was just so horrifying. Um, so we can't go anywhere. We're under the second the second uh, storm now. It's snowing. There's ice. It's the, the roads are icy. We're I think the temperature is 18 degrees. So um, yeah, it's cold. And then we get another one coming uh, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Where there's going to be a, 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 a where there's going to be a lot a lot of snow expected. So um, yeah. So right now uh, we're not doing anything. We're not going outside. We've got videos of people going to the store and there is nothing on the shelves. No meat, no food, no nothing. No propane, nothing. So there's no reason for us to even try and go outside because we're not going to find it and there's no use of trying to put ourselves in danger when there's nothing out there. So um, that's where that is right now. So I mentioned that we're no longer in North Carolina. Thank God. You guys know I did not like North Carolina, but I stood it out, stood it out for 13 years for my husband, who we're still together. <laughs> uh, we are now in Texas, in North Texas, and we um, we had a story to tell about our experience from selling our house in North Carolina, moving into the apartment, and then moving from the apartment here. And things that happened in between, uh, we, you know, go back to the video on our other channel, Brian Family Values, and watch the video, Losing Our Dream Home, and then dealing with the moving company. Uh, we were out to, up, up tens, you know, ten over $10,000 trying to move from here and there, and, and then some, and uh, getting the house that we we're in, and we're finally here, we're comfortable, and I've just been having a time 
uh, decorating this house. I'm going to be doing some videos uh, to share with you guys. I still have not decided if I want to do a full house tour or not, but I will be taking rooms and showing you guys as I decorate them and I will give it a disclaimer up front. It's a good chance that the rooms that I'm showing you after I decorate them won't stay that way. <laughs> so um, I'm just trying to catch my feel on it. It's a lot of house to um, to decorate. Um, so I'm taking it room by room. I've actually got a lot of stuff done. Um, but I'm taking it room by room. Uh, for example, this right here that we're in is my office. And um, you can't see it there. But I, um, I have some black and white uh, canvases back behind me that are of my uh, speaking engagements, some pictures that I took for my top photography. But then I was looking at that. I was sitting at my desk and I was looking and I was thinking to myself, hmm, I want that wall black. So I went on the Pinterest and found some ideas. So that wall back there is getting painted black. So I, I've been struggling with the color scheme for this office. So I have the white leather couch that I'm sitting on now. I have the white credenza and the white and black desk. So I thought, it's going to be white, black, grays, and silvers. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put a pop of color or not. I just may not, but we'll see how that goes. So again, I'll be doing clean with me videos. I'll be doing more decorative videos. Uh, I'm, I was supposed to start my gardening because I'm going to build a garden out back. I was supposed to start that this past week, but the the cold came. So... I'm going to show you guys as I garden uh, for my new garden and just different things that we're going to be doing um, here on the channel. I'm going to be doing more rig reviews. I am going to be doing um, some get ready with me. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things. I don't want to say everything that I'm going to be doing. I just want you guys to stay tuned uh, for for that uh, for those particular videos and the different things that I have planned for uh, other side of the dash. My word this year is reinvention. I'm finding myself having to reinvent myself after age 50. So you guys know, uh, I've worked in corporate America in several aspects. I've been a stockbroker. I've been a private investigator. I've been a claims uh, manager or adjuster. I've been a, uh, a supervisor. I've been a health uh, assistant, uh, a medical assistant. A certified nursing assistant. I've done administration jobs. I've done a lot of things. I've worked uh, with companies like JP Morgan Chase where I helped people save their houses or refer them to re uh, to foreclosure or I've worked for HSBC where we work to help people keep their cars or repossess them whatever the situation may be. So I've got a broad range of experience in corporate America and I had thought about it before we moved here going back into corporate America and I thought I don't want to. I came out of it for a reason. I don't want to go back into corporate America and I really don't have to. So you guys know that I had my own business. Uh, I was doing consulting. I was doing publishing. I was doing writing and so on and I have to be honest my passion for writing what I used to write is no longer there. I do want to write. So maybe I'll gear more towards nonfiction and self-help. Uh, but I do have to finish up a couple books in a couple of the series that I uh, was working on just to get that out of my system. And people were asking, when is the next book coming out? So I got to finalize those. But I got to tell you, you guys, if you, if you know me, if you follow me on social media in the past, you know writing was just my passion. And it's no longer my passion. Uh, marketing is my passion. Uh, creativity, uh, graphic design, uh, video content creation uh, lately has been my design. So I'm going to uh, take a spill and just go into this content creation full time. Um, I do have other things working in the back of my head, wondering if I want to do that or not, uh, such as real estate and other things. I'm just not quite sure. So what I'm doing again is finding myself, reinventing myself after 50. My granddaughter will be going to school. She'll be going to school. My husband works during the daytime. You guys know he used to work at nights. So I'm going to be here all day by myself going stir crazy. So I definitely have to find something very quickly 
that's going to catch my fancy, that's going to keep me occupied, keep me fulfilled, and then get paid for it. So um, I have to work on that. In addition to that, I have other goals in 2021. I don't want to share all of those right now. If you continue to watch, you'll see what those are, but I've just basically given you guys a few. The health issue, the hysterectomy, getting back on keto, reinventing myself, and other things. So uh, stay tuned to see what I have planned for 2021. And another reason why I want to tell you guys is because one minute I could want this and the next minute I could want that. And if I'm showing you this, when I said that, you guys are going to be like, but you said this. So I'm just going, I'm going to be the kind of person where instead of just saying it, I'm just going to do it. And you guys will see it when I do it. Okay. So, um, what else is going on here? The family's doing okay. Like I said, my husband and I celebrated our 13th wedding anniversary in November. A uh, little bit is still with us. She is going to be 11 this summer. Oh my God. I cannot believe she's going to be 11. We got her when she was three. And um, if you don't know who little bit is, she is my granddaughter. Like I said before, she is my biological maternal granddaughter or her maternal grandmother. How do I say that? Y'all know what I mean. Um, and she is going into the sixth grade. She's going to middle school, y'all. It's just amazing. She's still, she's growing, just watching her grow. Oh my God. She is just such the most beautiful, smartest, funniest, moodiest. <laughs> she's just a, a plethora of things. Um, and I, I just love her to death. And my husband, he's working days now. He's been doing that since October. We're in February. He's still trying to get used to it. Uh, he used to work close to the house. Now he doesn't. So he's finding himself in traffic a lot. But he like he seems to like where he's working. He's still within the post office. But he uh, seems to still like it. So, um, hey, it's a win-win. Here in the, in the community that we live in, we love the community. We kind of met a couple of people. But we understand that because of COVID and because of the winter weather that... Um, probably won't be until spring or summer until we actually get out and meet some people uh, and a little bit we'll actually start meeting people in uh school she's met a couple people here so you know we'll, we're seeing how that goes because y'all know grandma is very strict about who, who she lets in her space so um yeah that's what's going on and that's really all i have i wanted to come on and just give you guys an update and let you guys know i've not gone anywhere and i'm about to be I'm about to be, <laughs> I'm about to be consistent with my uh, posting and creation and just bear with me, you guys, because you know, like I said, grandma could be thinking this one minute, the next minute I may go off with this area. So just bear with me and come along for the ride. So if you like this video, please subscribe. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up and share and comment below. I like interacting with people that follow me. And if you have any suggestions or things that you want to see, uh, go ahead and put them down in the description box below and we, I will uh, work on getting that done for you. So without further ado, I wish you guys a very, very, very happy Valentine's Day. Hope you guys are safe and warm. And until the next, and until the next video, I'll see you then.